H is for honey. We keep bees at the Eden Project and in a good year we can take 150 to 175 pounds of honey off each hive. A is for apples. Worldwide we have over 7,000 different varieties of apples. In Cornwall alone we have over 120 different varieties of apples. R is for reaping. There's been a huge renaissance lately in traditional skills, scything being one of them. Here at the Eden Project, we're using scythes a lot more instead of the noisy, polluting strimmers. V is for vegetables. Gardeners have a glut of vegetables to harvest at this time of year. They're still the remnants of summer. We've got the mainstays of the autumn and we're moving into the winter vegetables as well. E is for eating. Uh, Jerusalem artichokes is probably my favourite ingredient right now. Um, right in season, really, really beautiful vegetable to cook with in so many ways. Make a nice puree, a beautiful soup, um, deep fry them, deep fry the skins as a, as a little kind of garnish, um, or just serve them beautifully roasted, you know, a nice little addition to a roast dinner. S is for storytelling. Harvest to our ancestors meant something quite different than it does today. Harvest was a time of very hard work. They would be in the fields, cutting the corn, gathering their crops. They would then gather together in the evenings in their communities where there would be much merriment, dancing and singing, and they would gather around campfires and share food and, of course, share stories. T is for tasting wine. I think wine tasting is best summed up by Pierre Boisset, who said, wine is at the same time simpler than people say and more complex than they think. 